Welcome to Comic Book Fanatics, and uh, if you're a subscriber, then welcome back. Uh, first of all, happy Comic Book Wednesday, and secondly, especially happy Veterans Day. Now, um, of course, being Veterans Day and military myself, I just wanted to give a shout out to all my military brothers out there, and also uh, say thank you for your service to the country, and definitely it's um, definitely a lot of respect and a lot of love goes out for you guys, and being that it is Veterans Day, just a little shout out to my family as well, uh, on Veterans Day, uh, off to the left right here is uh, my father, and in the middle is my brother and myself to the right, and um, so just a, just a long standing tradition of military service within my, my family, and which goes all the way back as far as... Uh, I recall to my grandfathers, and unfortunately I don't have a picture of him and his brothers who served in World War II during the European theater campaign um, in Germany. So um, unfortunately, of course, he's no longer with us. He's passed on. But, uh, you know, just uh, just something to be very proud of. I'm very proud of our, our longstanding tradition of military service in our family. And uh, so, and definitely, like I said, a shout out to... You know all the veterans out there, all the uh, all the soldiers out there. My buddy Ray and just so many of the name. You know, it's such a great, wonderful community. Besides, you know, besides, you know, every community has a different way, and the army is a community. You know, and it's just uh, it's it's a different community. It's uh, it takes a lot of get getting used to, uh, especially if you're new into it. But uh, today, I just want you know. I just want to, just like I said, a shout out to to everyone out there um, for two reasons: Happy Comic Book Wednesday and Happy Veterans Day. Now, so I, I've got a lot of uh, wonderful, wonderful pickups for this week, and uh, I'm, I want to share it with everybody. And I'm sure you've probably seen the majority of this online of people posting their pickups for for the Wednesday for um, and for the Comic Book Day and all what what have you. Not Comic Book Day, but Comic Book Wednesday, and. Um, by no means, and this is a disclaimer, uh, by no means was I brainwashed or influenced by Chris from Comic Book, uh, We Love Comic Books, uh, to purchase any of these items, okay? I have, I, I have to throw that disclaimer out there. And uh, I think, you know, I think it's absolutely hilarious that uh, he actually received a comment like that, that, uh, you know, he, uh, me, me, me and Ray being military and... You know, I, him within our circle, and it was it was a comment made from our last after our last TV uh, not TV show but the comic talk show that uh, that you know being that me and Ray were military that we were easily brainwashed uh, into his cult. I find that very very amusing. Uh, I, you know, being in the military over twenty three plus years, and I am no stranger to disrespect, insubordination. Um, indiscipline, you know, so it just kind of rolls off me. You, you've got to take it for what it is, and you know, and it's just, it's just nothing. People, people say stuff, and it's just based off ignorance. Because I, I will tell you, um, being being in the military as long as I have, and I, I will say, it, it's only two percent, less than two percent, of the population actually served in the armed forces. Okay, only two percent serve in the armed forces. Now, you know, it, it's it's by no means uh, a, you know, by any, any means at all uh, trying to put down anybody else that uh, hasn't served in the military for one reason or another, but, uh, you, know, every, you know, it's not for everybody. And it's one of those things that, uh, you know, some I know some people have tried but just are unable to get in for one reason or another or... Um, don't get accepted for one reason or another. It, it doesn't matter, you know, whether you choose a certain profession in your life. It, it shouldn't be by any means um, looked at, looked down upon, or looked at as as we are just a, a bunch of mindless zombies that just follow people. You, 
honestly, you have to be really bright and brilliant to be able to do and serve. It takes to me, you know, and I give credit to a lot of these young kids out there who actually enlist or are commissioned within the military, whether Air Force, Army, Marines, Navy, what have you, because especially during a time of conflict, you know, and they know it's a time of conflict and they know they have a, a possible chance of actually being deployed uh, overseas somewhere away from their families and things like that. And they, uh, but they still enlist w w with that notion in their head, with that, uh, with that possibility in their head. So, you know, I commend, I commend these people um, that, that are just enlisting um, at this point of time. But, uh, but it, it, takes, it takes a certain type of individual to be able to do that. And, you know, I, you know, I, I don't know if it was a, you know, a remark to, to, to put um, Chris down or if it was something that was, um, was said, you know, in, in, um, to put us down, me and Ray, you know, and it, if it, if it wasn't, you know, if it wasn't to put us down, it, it, it did in sort of a way because, you know, me and, uh, being me and Ray, um, uh, being as long as we have, we, we have a lot of pride and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of tradition within the military and a, a lot of love that we have for what we do but uh to, to, to say something like that you know it you know what regardless if if they meant it you know t directly towards us or indirectly towards us you got to really be careful of how you say things because people may take it the wrong way guys i will tell you that right now so just, uh, you know, I, I don't know whoever said that or if it was said out of context or whatever. Um, you know, it's just one of those things you probably you probably want to recant what you said, you know, because, you know, it's not it's not about the government. It's not about the president. It's it's about the soldier, you know, the guy that where the where the rubber meets the road, the guy that's out there doing the fighting, the, the guy that's actually out there getting dirty and away from his families and things like that. And, you know, it's it has nothing to to do with being brainwashed or, uh, you know, that we're so weak minded that, you know, we can't think on our own. It, it's not it's nothing like that. Well, anyways, guys, hey, listen. You know, I, I don't want to, I don't, I won't let me get off the soapbox because I can, I can rant and rave forever when it comes to that. But, uh, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about, uh, um, comic talk. Okay. So comic talk, we have another episode guys coming on Sunday. So if you, uh, did not tune in last, last Sunday for comic talk, I, I hope you guys tune in this time for comic talk and, and, and enjoy the show. And also, uh, I also put out last Sunday that uh, I'd be doing a giveaway of a Arthur Sudan uh, Walking Dead print and it, it, it's a really nice print it has Rick and uh, his son Carl on there um, fighting warding off or fighting off some zombies so it's a really gorgeous print actually signed by Arthur Sudan his sales so I've all, already gotten two submissions for that so if you guys are interested, and this goes out to my subscribers, you know, if you guys are interested in participating in something like that, then by all means, go ahead and, you know, go ahead and make, make a short little video. And the video is basically, um, what is your most prized grail? And what, whether it be something you own your, in your possession or something that you want in your possession, um, and it doesn't have to be anything expensive. It doesn't have to be a silver age. It doesn't have to be a modern age. You know, it, it, it's whatever whatever your your grail is uh, within the uh, within the comic book um, genre. Okay, well, not just genre, but comic books. And what say you know? Say like if your your grail is an amazing Spider-Man um, number one or um, amazing fantasy number one, or if it happens to be you know what you see in front of you, Batman forty six is my my grail because for whatever reason and, and give me a reason why that's your grail. You know, tell me, let me know what your uh, why your grail is, and after that, well, we'll we'll announce the winner of it on Sunday, and um, we'll. Uh, you know, me and Ray will go through the videos and, and pick the winner for that, okay? Now, um, let's go ahead and get started with uh, this week's uh, My Pickups for this week. 
and uh, we'll, we'll get started soon uh, soon after I uh, looks like I have to change out this battery so I'll All be right, right everybody back. so let's let's go ahead and start out on the left side here and I arranged them on the left is mainly Marvel and then on the right side is uh, is what DC came out for the week and uh, a few independents so uh, my first pickup, not necessarily my first pickup, but one of my pickups for today was Amazing Spider-Man 2099, number three. Very beautiful cover. Um, I'm, I wasn't necessarily a, a big fan of Spider-Man 2099, but, uh, you know, I started picking this up and I just started the series, actually. And it's just an it's, it's just an overall wonderful, beautiful cover to it. So I uh, I decided to go ahead and just, just pick this up because... You know, I, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm I'm really into gorgeous covers and well done artwork. Uh, just a just overall big fan of art. All right, the next pickup is Radioactive Spider Gwen number two. Not a really big fan of uh, the artwork on this. Uh, never really have been. I, I find the the variants a you know a lot better than than the regular copy which i don't know why they do it like well i i guess i know why they do it is because to to be able to sell the variants but you know i don't know me personally i think they should really step up their game when it comes to the newsstand editions because not you know not everybody can afford variant variant copies of uh, of spider gwen and it's just one of those things that i i think you know they should do the same thing with like like the other covers and just and just offer uh, some nicer art to it. But you know overall there's really nothing wrong with it. But you know it just doesn't really appeal to me. Nevertheless, I digress. All right, Guardians of the Galaxy number one. I went ahead and picked this up anyways. I know this is from last week, but I, I went ahead and just picked it up because I don't know why I didn't get it. I really like the cover to it. I, I think it's really well done. It's you know really great animation sort of uh, artwork to it, but I think it's really nice, so I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, also came out this week, Secret Wars number 7. Very thin book, by the way. Very thin, you know. I don't uh, don't know what's up with this, but uh, it looks like they're going all the way up to 9. But uh, it, it's a very busy cover. Really nice, really well done. Has a lot of the characters on there. So something that just came out this week. Um, the Uncanny Inhumans number one. Wind up just picking this up today. Uh, I I don't know. I just overall I, I figured I'd just go ahead and just start uh, just start this out because you know the Inhumans, especially with the uh, popularity of uh, Marvel Agents of Shield, they're starting to to come out just a little bit more. I mean, Inhuman comics have been out for quite some time. Really not so big. But uh, just uh, with the TV show and everything like that, it, they're starting to boom a little bit more. So just decided to go ahead and see what the, uh, what the hype is about on this one. All right, another wonderful uh, number one that came out for, uh, for today is the Illuminati, number one. So uh, Illuminati's been, uh, they've had other books before. However, I, I think, uh, I, think I want to just go ahead and start this one. The, the review sounded really good on it. Uh, something I think it's up my alley when it comes to the Marvel Universe. So I think it's it's going to be a, a very good read. So I went ahead and just picked this one up. And another copy of the, uh, the Illuminati's number one. Another beautiful cover. Also, all new, all different Avengers, number one, very beautiful cover, almost looks like uh, an Alex Ross cover, and it's possibly, I'm not exactly sure if that is Alex Ross's, but it, it's very similar to his uh, type of art style, but overall, beautiful cover, being at the Avengers, you can't go wrong. Also picked up the Uncanny Avengers, number two. Great cover on this one as well. All right, this one is the new Avengers number one. Pick, wind up picking this one up. And the new Avengers number two. This one came out today, and I really like this cover to it. I, I think, 
Wow, it's just very, very interesting cover. So I, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to re, getting uh, caught up on the read on this. And that's that's the reason why I bought the number one. And like I said, when it comes to the Avengers, you can't go wrong. So it's it's one of those things I picked up. The Howling Commandos of S.H.I.E.L.D. number one. I went ahead and picked that one up today as well. And Carnage number one came out. And, you know, Carnage, man, it, it's just, you know, it's just one of those villains right there. He's just, you know, you're, you're always interested in seeing what he's going on. Very, very dark villain. So, and this cover is very interesting cover. It's one of those, it looks like a, a mining uh, sort of a railroad into a, uh, a mining shaft or something. So, I'm like very, very curious to see what this storyline's about. All right, also picked up Darth Vader Star Wars number 12. Beautiful overall cover here. And I, I've been following this for quite some time. So I'm uh, very interested in reading this one as well. Now, that's the reason why you guys see I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't tape any of this stuff up because I plan on doing, uh, doing some reading. Got, got quite a few books today, guys. All right, for Marvel, these are my top two picks of the week. Web Warriors number one. Gorgeous, gorgeous cover. It's got all of the, all of the, um, the web slingers, if you will. You know, all, all the different types of Spider Man, Spider Woman, Spider Gwen on there. And this is just an absolutely beautiful cover. Really well done. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to newsstand covers of how they make beautiful covers. So, you know, definitely caught my eye. And not to mention, I'm just one of the overall Spider Man fans. So. Uh, with something like this, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how this is going. And my last top pick of the week is the all-new Wolverine number one. Um, very hyped up book for this week, so I am absolutely excited to see how this is going to go. I love the way they did the cover, how they make the W uh, with uh, with her blades on there. You know, as you guys know, X-23 has the, the four blades, so I like the way that she made the W. So beautiful cover on that. I'm really glad they did they did this type of cover and a, a very eye appealing cover. All right. So, anyways, that that's with Marvel, and that was my pickup for Marvel. And this is, of course, like I said, the uh, my my top two picks of the week are the Web Wars number one and the All New Wolverine number one. Okay. Now with DC. Uh, Batman 46 came out, and I'm a uh, avid follower of Batman. I love how the storyline is for this this volume, uh, volume two. So very happy to have uh, um, another another one of these books that came out, and I've been anticipating this com coming out for for a while now. So I'm very thrilled. Also picked up Superman American Alien number one. Very interesting. Uh, sort of description I read on this one it has to do with uh, Superman as uh, you know it kind of takes some story his story when he was a baby from Krypton and then when he when he gets the Smallville and everything so however my understanding it's it's a whole different type of storyline to it well I guess not a different type of storyline but they're, they're kind of going a different way with it but it, anyways very interested uh, in reading this one as well all right, picked up Starfire number six. This is an Amanda Connor cover. And Bombshell number four. And of course, Harley Quinn on the front cover right there. I'm so glad they did another Harley Quinn cover. They can do they can keep doing Harley covers. I, I you know I'm just I'm a big fan of Harley, so anytime I see a cover by that, I have to snatch it up. Drax number one. Kind of ser uh, just kind of curious about this one. It, it should be a good read. I'm, uh, uh, you know, of course, Drax is from the Guardians of the Galaxy, if you guys know. So, pretty badass character. Looking forward to reading this. And, all right, so this one is the Justice League uh, Dark Side War. This is the Batman, number one. This is the Green Lantern, number one. And this is the Shazam number one. And this is the Flash number one of the Dark Side War. So quite a few story arcs in this. 
And this one is the Dark Side Justice League Part 5. So it looks like uh, quite a few story arcs in that one. All right, also The Walking Dead, uh, number 148 came out, guys. And, of course, Walking Dead. Always very interested in uh, seeing what goes on here. All right. Now, these are a couple more independents. This is The Last Son of America. Uh, this is a one of four miniseries. And... Um, uh, I I read the reviews on this, and it's the reason why I picked this up because I I just uh, it's almost as if you know I, I'm not going to ruin the the storyline for you guys, but I hear it's a really good storyline. Has to do with uh, biological agent hitting the United States, and uh, the majority the population just can't have kids anymore, so they have to go up to other places to do that. But I thought it'd be an interesting read. I think this is up my alley when it comes to that. So. I also picked up Birthright. Uh, this is number 11. And I haven't been following this, but I hear a lot of great reviews about this. So I I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what it's about and just kind of, uh, you know, just figure out. Uh, because, you know, I, I love fantasy sort of uh, storylines, but um, I found it very interesting. So, all right, cover your ears, kids, if you're watching this. Parents, cover your kids' ears. This is the, the goddamned, all right? And uh, uh, read the reviews on this, so this one should be very interesting. I hear it's a really good read. This is issue number one. So, I also picked up another one, uh, Clean Room number one. Um, and this, you know, this this right here, I, I, I another uh, I read another review on this too, and this is uh, this is supposed to be a really amazing type of a read. So, and I think Vertigo and a lot of these independent books, man, they're they're pushing out some great quality products too. So, and it it is also suggested for mature readers. So, I think uh, I think this should be really really good. All right, ID, IDW pushed out Back to the Future number two. Wonderful cover. And I also picked out uh, Red Sonja and Conan number four came out. Love the storyline. Always love the artwork for this. And, and you cannot go wrong. All right, so that is what came out for DC and for a few independent books. And, uh... And I picked up, but that... Oh, shoot. I'm just struggling with this, guys. I apologize. Anyways, uh, so those those are my pickups for for this week. But guess what, guys? That is not everything. I also picked up some variant covers as well. So, And I, I definitely would love to share that with you. So give me one second. I'll put these down. And I'll go ahead and push out... First one, let's well, let's start. Let's do this. Let's start with Marvel. All right. So I've got all new, all different Avengers number one. This is the hip hop variant to it. Also picked up all new, all different Avengers, another variant to it. And a third variant. And another variant beautiful all right also picked up the uncanny avengers variant i love this cover guys i mean look at it you've got uh just the heroes on the front you've got deadpool captain america uh rogue on there and a few others and they're just I always love these covers like that. They're just pushing in to look like they're about to go do some battle somewhere. All right, also picked up Illuminati number one variant. Another Illuminati variant. And another one. This is a Terry Dotson cover. I love Terry Dotson's artwork, by the way. And my favorite of the Illuminati covers is the one right there, with Galacticus. Love that. 
All right, another beautiful cover, Thor number four. That is absolutely gorgeous cover right there, guys. So I had to I had to pick this one up as well. Okay, and then I also picked up a Carnage cover, and this is a gorgeous, beautiful cover right here. Wind up picking that one up. And I like this one better than the, the hip-hop one, which is this one. This is the hip-hop variant to it. All right, also picked up Radioactive Spider-Gwen, number two variant to it. Right there. And I wind up picking, now this wasn't this week's, but I wind up picking up this Amazing Spider-Man variant, variant right here. I do not know how I missed that last week. I really don't. I, uh, you know, I, I saw my uh, the uh, my comic book shop guy. He was putting it up, and I'm like, wait a minute, I, I don't remember this. And he goes, Yeah, we had this. I was like, My God, how did I miss this? So, so I wind up picking that one up, and also all new Wolverine variant, hip hop variant, and another all new Wolverine variant right here. And another one. Gorgeous covers on this one. And another one. Here we go. And I also picked up Web Warriors, the hip hop variant to this. All right. And my top picks from Marvel as far as variant goes would be this one is Web Warriors number one variant cover. This is the selfie cover. And also the all new Wolverine number one variant cover. And that those are my two favorite top picks from Marvel when it comes to the variants. All right. So also, DC did uh, a few variant covers as well. They did the they're doing the Looney Tunes variant this month, and I and I really enjoy that because I'm just a big Looney Tunes fan. So I wind up picking it up because I, I just absolutely love it. They they do some really good stuff on this. So I wind up picking up Batman number forty six Looney Tunes variant cover, and also. The Catwoman 46 Looney Tunes very co cover. It's got Tweety Bird and the Cat Catwoman right there. It's just it's just hilarious. Expressing on a uh, Tweety Bird's face right there. And then also picked up St Starfire Looney Tunes variant cover with Pepe Le Pew on there and Starfire. It's a gorgeous cover. Love that cover by the way. L just look at look at the coloring on that. It just just comes out so well. And then my favorite is the Batman Superman number 26 uh, Looney Tunes variant cover. And this is a homage actually to the Dark Knight uh, um, trade paperback. I think it was number two or number three. I think it might have been number two. But they did a homage to that. And it's got Sylvester the Cat and Tweety Bird going at it right there. And Sylvester the Cat, he is one of my favorite Looney Tune characters, al along with Daffy Duck. Those, the just those two characters right there, they're just out of control. Anyways, those so th those are the the um, the variants that I picked up, guys. And I wound up also getting a uh, the the blank variant to to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because. I just wanted to, you know, always have a, a few extra of those uh, laying around. And then the free preview today, too. And uh, it's got a lot of the covers on there and uh, a bit of the storylines and things like that from, from a few different. So, And I, I like reading these things as well. So, all right, guys. So that is my Wednesday pickup. And I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed showing this to you guys. I really uh, had a great time today just looking around at the, the comics and everything like that. And I think I just found some absolutely gorgeous and wonderful wonderful covers. And and uh, I was just really psyched. I, I had a really good day when it, when it came to com you know going to the book, bookstore and everything. I just absolutely had a great time. And, you know, I, I have to give a shout out to... Uh, 
to my boy that uh, runs that comic book store here. And I I'm telling you, he's he's an awesome guy. Always taking care of me. Always, you know, making sure I, I know what's the latest and everything coming up. And he's just overall a good guy. Definitely a shout out to him. And, you know... You know, comic book community, guys, it's not just online, it's not just on YouTube, but it's a matter of of taking your time and talking to those people, because who knows more about a lot about these books than the people that actually run the stores, you know, and just getting to know them instead of just being a customer, you know, be a friend out there, get to know them, talk to them, uh, just spend some time there, and you know, and they they get to see your face, they'll definitely appreciate that, and they, they appreciate you co coming by, and just being not just being a customer but like i said just being a friend so anyways guys I, I hope you enjoyed my pickups for today and my top picks for today and like i said i appreciate it so have a good one